Hi, uh, my name's Lee and uh, this is my first ever YouTube video so don't know how it's going to turn out or pan out or whatever but I just wanted to uh, give it a go to try and upload a video um, because I mean this is my first ever layout that I've done and I don't know anybody that shares the same hobby so it'd be interesting just to see what you guys think um, of what I've done so far um any suggestions or comments um obviously would be more than welcome because like i said i've never actually done anything like this before um so i'm going to start off with this first video um showing you what i've achieved so far um just going by advice what i've got off of my local model shop um but also just listening to some tips and, and a big inspiration as well of some of the guys that do um, YouTube videos, um, Everard Junction, Dean Park, um, and New Junction as well. Um, they're sort of the guys that actually sort of push me along, if you like, to sort of give this um, a bit of a go myself. I always wanted to do a model railway since I was a kid, um, but obviously due to money and, and being a kid, uh, couldn't really take it seriously. So this is what I've done so far. Um, I'll start off, um, I've started off one of my favourite uh, locos, uh, the HST. Um, and as you can see, if I go around, uh, I've got myself a, an half reasonable uh, rake for it already. Um, now I know it's one short, but I will actually get round to getting another one. This one in particular doesn't match the other first class uh, coach, but I will get that addressed um, soon. And uh, also I need to get another one as well, because I'm running it on six, not seven coaches. So it's not a prototypical rake, uh, but it is what it is so far. And like I said, I'm a, I'm a beginner, but... This is how far I've got. Um, as you can see, there's a retaining wall. Built a retaining wall out of 3mm ply. Um, and also covered it with a brick effect pattern. Um, bought a packet from the local model shop and then just repeatedly photocopied it. Um, which is a good thing really, because it would have cost quite a bit of money to get the size of this wall actually done. So. Uh, moving along, a lot of the track ain't been laid still, um, but I have started on the station and the platforms. Now these platforms, um, seen quite a few videos um, on YouTube about how to make uh, double O gauge platforms. Not a big fan of a lot of the method, so I thought I'd give it a go myself. So what I basically done here was I used. 18 mil plywood and on top of the plywood I then glued lolly sticks to the top just protruding over the edge so we've got a bit of a bit of an edge on the platform um, not a big fan of platforms with no edges on them it's not really prototypical and um, so what I did was I glued the lolly sticks on them and then in the center I did um, coffee stirrers um, just so that when I sort of smoothed it off um, with a with a blade to get as smooth as I could. Um, it just gave it a bit of guidance, really, to make it nice and flat and uh, and true, really. So this is the platform, the start of it. Uh, nothing's really sort of joined up on it. Um, it comes along enough to comfortably take on a full rake HST. And as you come over to this part, um, what I did was bought myself a couple of second-hand cheap um, Ormby station um, station buildings. And what I did was cover them with paper, just so it sort of blends in with all the retaining wall. Now this part, not sure what I'm going to do about this gap. Probably maybe fill it in um, and, and put a bit of I don't know, shrubs or, or, or a bit of landscape in there. Um, but the reason it's up so high is because I've, I've, I actually built myself this out of the um, same stuff, 3 mil ply, uh, covered it in paper. Uh, but I wanted everything looking quite sort of uniformed. 
so um, it ain't sort of looking too bad. Obviously, um, the fascia boards, uh, one of them's blue, the other one's green. Got to sort that out, got to get matched up and whatnot, but uh, not looking too bad so far. I still need quite a lot of work. Um, gonna get myself some um, like some pavement, paper pavement, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll paint the edges white first, so I'll get a nice uh, straight sort of line on the paper pavement print, and that give me my edging line as well for my platform, so um, yeah, not too bad, uh, like I said, nice length, uh, comes right round, finishes off, uh, still needs uh, quite a bit of work done to it, um, but yeah, yeah, not too bad. Looking at this lower uh, part, um, it comes along. It's under the little bridge that uh, brings you out to the uh, to the station, but still needs all the pavement done. Then it goes along, and it ducks under into two tunnel mouths. Coming from the tunnel mouths, still not too sure what I'm doing. Um, sort of done my little sort of version of weathering if you like uh, it's not the best but like I said I'm new to it so I'm still learning um, over here we got um, some Mark IV coaches don't quite know why I bought them um, didn't know what I was doing um, and basically I thought it belonged um, to this but it wasn't so there was a mistake there Anyways, coming back over to here, we've got a Backman Class 37, 37041. Uh, seen a few videos on it, liked it. Like all the Backman stuff I've bought, um, no trouble, no worries about it, runs fine. Um, unlike some of these, now, this isn't a, a Hornby, uh, it's Class 56, but I don't know what it is with this one. It runs for a little bit. It's one of the earlier models, but it seems to run for a little bit of time and and then it sort of plays up, starts stopping and starting and jolting and and whatever else. But uh on to another one. Over here we've got the Backman uh DMU. Um again I looked it up on YouTube, see some of you have done some videos on it. Really like the look of it. Loads of videos I've seen on YouTube as well has got um, these sort of old bluey grey BR rail colour, um, you know, livery. But still quite a fan of it. It's one of the liveries that I saw when I was a kid growing up. So to me, it's got a nice sort of, I don't know, sense of feeling about it. It's something that I just want and I like it. Um, now... I know the network South East was running at the same time when you still saw these, but I'm basing the layout on, on basically uh, late 80s, early 90s, like quite a lot of the railways are, but um, just thought it made a good start on it. No problems with that one so far. Now, getting back to the, the 37. Now, as the, as the Ormby class uh, 56 was playing about what i did was i uh, swapped it over and i gave the class 37 its own rake of uh coal um but as you can see it's it's not a bad it's not a bad sort of length so that's that and then down the bottom here um still Still working on the embankment. Um, I've ordered myself a, a static grass applicator. Uh, never used one then before. Now you get little shocks off them. I'm probably pretty hundred percent sure I'm going to get them because I never used one before. Um, and as it comes along, uh, it breaks up. Now all this be covered with foliage and and, and bushwork and, and and whatnot. And then down here, recessed in. Uh, we've got a Backman uh, signal box. Uh, still needs a bit of weathering, bit of work done on it um, and whatnot. And uh, and as we come along, uh, you've got another tunnel mouth here. Well, 
Uh, there's more than one. There's two tunnel mouths. One of them brings you around. Uh, as I started filming, there's the HST. Back round to the layout. But this one over to the left. It's, I was inspired by um, Dave at Dean Park. Um, with the way he did this tunnel mouth. And, it, and I like the idea how he did it. So it ran through. Sort of came up along the back. Um, as it comes along, uh, not quite finished, but it comes around. It's got an incline, brings you up to the top, the top level. Uh, none, none of this is is done. I've still got a lot more to do, but uh, it's going to go around the back half of the platforms, um, and then come back. And it'll bring you on to whatever line you want. Um, and then over here, once all this gets joined up, um, it'll come along. It'll have the DMU there. Um, and it'll stop here. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, that's as far as I've got so far. So, um, like I said, any, any sort of uh, comments, suggestions... Um, I don't really know how work, uh, YouTube works, so uh, but everyone says if you can like it, um, comment and subscribe. Um, I will be doing a lot more of the layout, um, like I said, because uh, most of it ain't finished. Well, it's far from finished, but it'd be nice to hear from you guys. Like I said, um, I haven't got anyone to sort of share the hobby with, so uh, there's only you guys relying on you. Um, to give me feedback for I go <laughs> and this little thing over in the corner here um, my mum gave it to me a couple of years back um, she was going to throw it out and it belongs to an Orby train set and she remembered back from when I was a kid and she said well she said Lee I'm going to throw it out she said if you want it she said take it but it was actually this thing here giving that to me two years ago I think there um, that actually inspired me to do what I always wanted to do, which is um, uh, quite a proper and large um, layout. So, and for my first one, um, don't think I've done too bad. Um, but like I said, I'd appreciate your uh, suggestions. Um, this is just purely, it's got a bit of filler on it. It's just for marking off the platform edge just make sure I've got a good clearance I want a realistic clearance I don't want you know people to have to sort of grappling up to get in and out of the carriages and whatnot so I've been using it to get the platform edge as best as I can um, and as you probably appreciate as well I ain't done too bad a job on that one so uh, like I said yeah give us a uh, give us a thumbs up or uh, whatever you use, uh, YouTubers do um, to try and promote it because I would like to, you know, get some suggestions, a little bit of feedback and whatnot. Uh, by the way, the, the layout is run on DC at the moment, but we've done all the, uh, I've got dropper wires. Um, looking to do DCC, I don't know how it works, to be honest. Like I said, I'm new to it, um, and obviously I know it's a way forward, um, but I'll, I'll, I'll be looking into it, and I'll post another video soon. Cheers. Bye.